How's it going everyone? Today I actually have a few replays and gameplay videos of my Red Eyes Dragoonity deck, which through a lot of testing I found can be very competitive. Uh, for those of you who just want to see how the deck goes, we'll just leave the replay running so that you can see the gameplay and I'll explain what happens as we go along. So he's going to get his first turn set up and then I'm going to terraform into the Dragon Ravine. This is a Dragon deck, so of course why wouldn't you play Dragon Ravine now that we have it back? And then in the deck, I say it's Dragoonity Red Eyes, but there isn't actually a large focus on the Dragoonities. It's really just a very small engine because I wanted to capitalize off the Dragon Ravine as much as possible. Unfortunately though, losing that pretty early in the game, you'd think that that would be kind of a big problem, but it actually isn't. This deck has a surprising capacity to be able to bounce back from it. And now Return of Red Eyes, I actually did not know this. I had to test with it just a little bit, but it looks like as long as you control a Red Eyes monster, you can use its effect to revive every single turn which recycling that Galaxy Serpent is going to open up some insane plays. So we're bringing out that Stardust Dragon, just like the good old days in Dragoonity, to help to protect our plays while we get them out. Because unfortunately this deck does kind of start out slow, but as long as you can protect your plays while you're getting them out, you're golden. Like, he's going to try to MST the Return of Red Eyes right there, but the Stardust is going to be able to protect it. And now we're sitting on an Azure Eyes that's protecting itself, and then the Stardust can continue pre protecting my field. And now what we're looking at is we have a Revival Engine established, where Azure Eyes can bring something back every turn, and so can Return of Red Eyes. So I get two free special summons every single turn, and I'm definitely going to abuse it. So we go into the new summon skull, the Galaxy Serpent, and then we bring out what is, in my opinion, the MVP of the extra deck in Red Eyes, which is the Black Brute Drago. And its effect is, is basically, since all the new Red Eyes support are Gemini monsters, you get to pitch them from your hand to destroy your opponent's spells and traps, and then when it gets destroyed, you get to bring one of them out in exchange, and then it comes out with its effect already activated, which in some cases, because the Red Eyes has burn damage, can end the game outright. So what we're looking at right here is we have a field where we have a Revival Engine with the Return of Red Eyes and the Azure Eyes Silver Dragon. They can just keep spamming stuff to the board, and then we have a Destruction Engine with the Black Root Drago, which can help set up the Revival Engine, and then we have a Stardust for our Defense Engine. And then we're sitting on a Blackstone of Legend with a Crush Card Virus set. And you can see at this point that it's looking like a losing game for my opponent. There's pretty much no way he's going to be able to come back into this. And then we already have plays set up and established. As soon as we draw into a Dragon Shrine, we have the two ducks in hand. So when we get that Phalanx to Grave, it's not like we're going to be out of plays. And we've already pushed our opponent's resources down to this. These Mirror Forces aren't going to help him because we're sitting on that Stardust Dragon. And anything he does get rid of, we can just go ahead and revive anyway. So anyways, you guys, that is the first video for the Red Eyes Dragoonity. I hope you guys like this. I think this deck has the capacity to be a very, very powerful deck. But anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Catch you later.